All right, so today I'm going to be doing a guitar tutorial of Full Moon by Brandy. Somebody requested this, and it's perfect because it's Black History Month. Um, so let's get into it. In the video, I'm using a acoustic nylon string guitar. Today I am using an um, electric guitar that is going to be amplified by an electric amp so that you can hear the sound even more so. Um, I recommend if you're going to use an electric guitar to learn this song from this tutorial, make sure you have an amp so that you can hear yourself. Otherwise, use a steel string guitar with lowered action so it'll be comfortable for your fingers because there are uh, quite a few bar chords. Um, mo I, I think only bar chords actually in this song. Um, that or you can use a nylon string guitar because it'll be soft enough. Uh, the texture of the strings and the tension of the strings usually. Um, if you have a nylon string with high action, you also should get that lowered uh, so that it can be easy for you and not challenging. Um, and then with an electric guitar, it's it's similar. Like the bar chords are a little bit challenging, but it's easier because um, the, the strings are closer to the fret. Um, typically always, you don't have to worry about lowering the tension on an electric guitar. Um, so just a few basic things. There are six strings. They're numbered from six to one, six being the th string at the top, which is the thickest. I know it's a little bit weird. It feels backwards, but that's how it is. The first string is the thinnest, is at, is at the bottom. Um, your, uh, I'm teaching for right hand. This is a right-handed guitar. Um, your right hand is gonna be what uh, plucks the strings and pulls them out to make sound. Um, and, you know, I will refer to these as your thumb, uh, index, middle, ring finger. You typically won't be using the pinky on the right hand. Um, yeah, and I'll just refer to them as the same on the left hand. Um, there's these dots on the top of the guitar. Should be on all guitars. Usually, sometimes they're not marked, but if they are, they're called fret markers. These boxes are called frets. Um, they're marked on frets 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and 12, and then beyond um, on, let's see, 13, 14, 15, 15 and beyond. <laughs> but, but you rarely play up here um, on pop covers um, that I've done, at least. Um, so, yeah, those are, those are the basics, and um, let's get into it. So... Um, the first chord is a uh, B flat minor chord. Um, it's going to start on the sixth fret or just B on the sixth fret. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here you can just hold it down, hold down all six strings, but you're only going to pluck out strings six, four, three, and two with your right finger, right finger, with your right hand. Um, thumb on the thickest string at the top, six. Um, your index finger, string four, middle finger, string three, ring finger, string two. So let's just hear how that sounds if you pluck it out. Sounds like that. You're skipping strings five and one. Although you are holding down all six strings with your left hand, you're only playing strings six, four, three, and two. And the pattern is you are going to play string six. Boom. same time you're going to pluck strings in this order two three four two three four two three two three four two three two three right so you can uh play the bar chord that way or you can hold it down with your middle finger and um, your ring finger on your left hand. It's a little bit better, gives you a little bit more uh, hold on the chord, so it's not as hard with just holding it down with like one finger and your thumb pressing the back of the fretboard. Then you can slide that shape, same shape, down to the first fret for the F minor chord. Um, it's a little bit harder to put the two fingers here on the first fret, so I would recommend the, the, the single hold there. Still gonna pluck out the same string, six, four, three, and two, same pattern. Um, And also, even though you're not playing string five, 
Um, it helps the sound of the cord a little bit more if you do put your um, ring finger um, two frets up um, from this shape. So for example, for the B flat minor chord, it would be, um, you're holding all the strings down on fret six, but two frets up on, um, fret eight, you're going to put your, um, your, um, ring finger on string five. Uh, basically the sound, it can sound, it can sound, you almost still get a little bit of that fifth string sometimes. So if you just hold it down, it kind of, the, the sound is a little bit more clean and it doesn't sound like you're getting a little bit of that fifth string note in the chord. And then if you hold it this way, you can also strum it out. Strum out all six strings with your thumb on your right hand because you've already got it pressed down. So you can do that as well. And then you can slide that shape down to the first fret. And then the only difference would be that your, um, your ring finger is gonna be two frets up on, for the F minor on the first fret, your ring finger is gonna be two frets up on the third fret, still on the fifth string. So, uh, boy, I saw you soon as you came bouncing through the door. You and your man and them just took over the floor. Started doing your thing. So it goes back and forth between that B minor, B flat minor and that F minor a few times. So. B flat minor, F minor. Second time for the B flat minor, second time for the F minor. Third time for the B flat minor, third time for the F minor. So three times each. Then it slides up to the sixth fret again for the E flat minor seven. So for this one, similar to the B flat minor, you're going to be barring um, all of the notes, all the strings on fret six. On fret seven, you're gonna take your um, middle finger on string two, and on fret eight, you're gonna take your ring finger on string four, and your um, this time on your right hand, you're gonna be playing with your thumb, index, middle, and ring finger on strings five, four, three, two. This way, this time you can um, just pluck downward five, four, three, two, and then back down again. Five, four, three, two, three, four, five. Do, 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 do. And then because you have all the strings held down with your index finger on your left hand, you can even um, hit that top string, string one, with your. Uh, ring finger on your right hand, or if you can use, use your pinky if you want. So it would be five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, or five, four, three, two, three, four, five, da, 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 or. So that's that shape. And then you slide down two frets to uh, the fourth fret for a D flat major seven. So that one, you're going to take the index finger and uh, bar all of the strings on fret four. And then you're going to take your middle finger on fret five and it's gonna be holding down string three. Then on uh, fret six, with your ring finger, you're gonna hold down string four. And also on fret six, you're gonna hold down um, string two. And then with your right hand, um, thumb, index, middle, ring finger, you're going to pluck five, four, three, two. And then you can also do five, four, three, two, one as well. So that's five, four, three, two. Do that same walk up, walk down. Five, four, three, two, suspend. Five, four, three, two, hold it out a little bit. Five, four, three, two, just let it ring out. Five, four, three, two, three, four, five, or five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four. And 
then the um then it repeats again that whole all those chords b flat minor f minor three times each chord then e flat minor seven to d flat major seven um it does that again for the second half of the second verse and then it goes to the chorus same chords again i didn't even go to front i didn't even go to lie but you walked up in the club i've been giving you the eye we can dance if you want get it cracking if you like must be a full moon but like one of those nights um so apart from the the pattern um apart from that you can just once you get into the groove you can just start to um um you'll pluck out strings six four three and two with uh your thumb index middle ring finger on your right hand once you get to like either the chorus or the second verse it's totally your preference so you'll basically hold down the chord uh with your left hand um, and you'll press the same pattern. So it's pluck, pluck, pluck. So you'll press down with your left hand at the same time that you're plucking out uh, strings uh, six, five, four, three, or six, four, three, two, skipping five, skipping one with your right hand. Da, 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 da. Then skipping ahead a few times to when it goes here, these changes. So this is the progression all the way up until the bridge. And then it's the progression again after the bridge for however many times you want to do the chorus and then the part at the end where she's vamping even even gone up front even gonna lie walked in the club giving you the lie. dance if you want crack it if you like for more so the bridge is b flat minor again on the sixth fret you slide up two frets, bop bop to C minor, same shape. So you can do that same chunking. That ka ka I didn't think that I'd come here tonight. Then hops down to similar to that E flat minor shape. This is going to be an E flat sus, E flat major, E flat sus uh, chord. So similarly, you're going to um, hold down just bar all six strings on the sixth fret and then on fret eight you're going to take your uh, ring finger and you're going to hold down string four also on fret eight you're going to take your pinky finger and you're going to hold down string three and you're only going to pluck out uh with that pattern uh with strings uh five four three two with your thumb ring thumb index middle ring finger on your right hand and then just hit the bass note on that uh eighth fret string six that c to the b flat coming back to that b flat minor so it's something like this i didn't think that i come here tonight e flat is someone like or be someone like you start feeling the way i do you can just hit that um that bass note on the on the eighth fret, um, uh, bass note on the eighth fret, sixth string with your index finger, bah, bah, and then be ready to hop down to fret six to bar all the strings for that B flat minor again. That repeats again. Uh, uh, seems like we've known each other most of our lives. E flat again. After one conversation, and then this is just a walk up. I I added with bass notes. So you're basically going to be playing um, uh, E flat, F, G flat, A flat, back to the chorus. And basically those notes are the E flat is on string five, fret six, two frets up. I'm hitting that with my index finger, two frets up. I'm uh, hitting the F on um, fret eight with my ring finger. Bah, bah, bah. On fret nine, I'm hitting... These are all on string five so far, by the way. So um, the E flat, the F, the G flat. Bah, bah, bah. On fret nine, on uh, string five, I'm hitting the G flat with my pinky. Da, da, da. Hop down to um, string four.
for that A flat on the sixth fret with my index finger again. Index ring, pinky, index, bum, back to that B flat minor. So that's it. That's it. That's all. Um, that's Full Moon by Brandy. Happy Black History Month, fam. I hope that you enjoy it. I hope that you um, uh, rock out, especially to um, some Black American music this month. And uh, enjoy this cover. Tag me. Let me know if you try it out. Cover it. Let me know if you decide to put a spin on it of your own nature. I would love to listen. And uh Good luck. Let me know if you have any questions.